Hi, everybody, and welcome to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you want to bet on. We have you covered. So we're in the NHL playoffs now, and we have already begun the second round. So we have uh, three games for you for Wednesday, August the 26th. And we're going to get started on some of those picks. But before I mention that, please join so you can uh, have access to the Z-Code VIP Club section. And again, with this section here, you have all different types of tools to help you make your picks more successfully. So let's go down through and take a look at some of these games. Scroll down through this page here. You see the first matchup, the New York Islanders versus the Philadelphia Flyers. The number six seed in the Eastern Conference, the Islanders, got past the Washington Capitals in five games in the opening round. You can see they are burning hot at the moment. And there you see that they have won five out of their last six games. The Philadelphia Flyers are the number one seed. It took them six games to get past the Montreal Canadiens. You can see at the moment they are average up, and they have won four out of their last six. During the regular season, you will see that the Flyers and the Islanders here, the Islanders won all the games between the teams this, for the season uh, by a 5-3 to three score, 4-3, to 5-3, to three, and 3-2 three to two in overtime. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see that the Flyers are at plus 26. The Islanders are at plus 22, both on a slightly downward trend. If you're considering the over and under in this game, take a look at what's been happening with their play. You can see that the Flyers, excuse me, that's the Islanders, they're playing in games trending under the line by two points. And you see the Flyers are playing in games trending well under the line by eight points. This should be a defensive battle. I will expect a low-scoring game, so bet the under in this one. You see the odds for this game are 1.9 each, so there's dead even odds for this one. I think the Flyers will probably win the game. They are playing at home, uh, so take the Islanders in this one in a close game. The Flyers should win this one in a close game. Okay, so we take a look at the next one, the Tampa Bay Lightning at the Boston Bruins. The Lightning right now are burning hot. They have won their last three. The Bruins are burning hot also. They have won their last three. In their first round, uh, the Tampa Bay as the uh, number two seed, they took down the Columbus Blue Jackets in five games. The Boston Bruins took down the Carolina Hurricanes in five games in their first round as the number four seed. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups during the regular season, you see the Lightning here won, what, three? Out of the last four games, four out of the last five games. Look at the power ranking indicator. Notice that the Bruins are at plus 30. The Lightning are at plus 28. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see that uh, Tampa Bay is playing games trending well under the line. And you can see Boston is also playing games trending well under the line. So betting the under is a very wise choice in this one as well. So it should be another defensive battle, it's the same as with the Flyers and the Islanders. Look at how stable the two teams have been. You can see that Tampa Bay and Boston, both are uh, very stable, plus 15 to plus 13. That means they're performing very consistently according to their, over, uh, their favorite underdog status. So take that in mind when considering betting on this game. I hope for the Bruins to get back on track against the Lightning and win this game here even though they are a slight underdog you see that tampa bay that has odds of 1.74 to boston 2.1 but i think the bruins will have enough to take this one in a close game as well now let's take a look at the car uh, the colorado avalanche and the dallas stars this is a western conference matchup the number two seed avalanche take on the number three seed stars dallas took down calgary in six games in the opening round while colorado disposed of arizona in five games if you look at the head-to-head -head matchups between these two teams, you can see that Dallas has won five out of the six games, Colorado winning one on August 5th by a 4-0 score, and Dallas winning the last one by a 5-3 score. You see that uh, Colorado's average at the moment, you can see they've won four out of their last six. Dallas is burning hot at the moment, they have won five out of their last six. Take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see... Colorado has a 28 to 25 edge. They were even just as of a few days ago. 
You see Colorado on an upward trend there. If you're considering the over and under, this is going to be very similar to the other two games. You can see that Colorado is playing in the games trending under the line. Dallas also playing in games trending under the line. So again, that should probably be a very smart play to bet the under. If you look at the odds for this game, you can see that Colorado has the better odds at 1.65 to Dallas 2.24. In the first game of the series, Dallas won the game. So you think that they would have an advantage. But now let's take a look at the volatility oscillator just to see how stable the two teams have been. If you look in this case here, the stability is plus 7 for Colorado, plus 3 for Dallas. So, you know, they're slightly above the line. So relatively stable, but not quite as stable as the other teams as we, as we have seen. So that means they might not perform quite as consistently according to their favorite and underdog status. So take that into mind. In the end, I think that Dallas should win this game, but this could be the closest one of them all. In fact, this one could take over time to do so. So there you have it. There's only three games on tap for, for this time, but we will see you next time. And remember, join, always join if you have not, and you will have access to all these wonderful tools to help you make your picks more consistently. Enjoy the games, and we will see you next time.